hii hii video naomba ifikie ya Drukibe. Kuna wakati nilifanya interview na bloggers nikasema Andrew Kibe amewekwa ngambo na mumama ni kama matusi nilimtusi kwa sababu Andrew Kibe alikuwa anatusi watu hapa Kenya anaita watu motherfucker anaita watu labistic shit Andrew Kibe alikuwa anaita watu kafukuzui and then nilikuwa na feel nikaa nawaribia majina and then mimi nika hata mimi nikambash i'm sorry sorry i'm so sorry adrukibe since ni kutusi miaki sipatangi kazi haki hata pesa sipatangi i'm just so sorry adrukibe ni same just sipatangi job so naomba tu adrukibe uweze kunisamea you are just a working person i I love your stories and I watch your YouTube every day. Please do. Hata kama unataka nikuimbie wimbo ya forgiveness, tafadhali tu Andrew tu kibe na timu yake yote. Naomba tu mnisamee. Pia kuna pasta Ezekiel ule wa Mombasa wakati juzi alishikwa, nilisema hata mimi simsikiliangi vizuri, juu alisema single mothers hatuna nyota ya ndoa. So uh, ni ukweli tu alisema ukweli hatuna nyota ya ndoa ni ukweli lakini liniuma hiyo ukweli so na nikaongea vibaya kumuhusu so pasta Ezekiel tu naomba tu haki unisamee since ni kutusi sipatangi job hata siitangu mali kuimba yani sipati jobs hata kampuni zenye zilikuwa zinanipea kazi azinipeangi kazi naomba tu mchungaji uniombe nyota ya kazi irudi nyota yangu ya mziki endelee kunga aingai sai hakuna kitu inaendelea i'm just down my kid mtoto wangu amekuwa mgonjwa kutoka january yani nimekuwa tu back to back to hospital hata first time akusoma alikuwa very sick and then hii time nashukuru Mungu at least anaenda shule but bado hajapona tu pastor Ezekiel ombea tu mtoto wangu apone I'm very sorry if I offended you in any way. I don't know how you know video nilifanya. Pia Eric Omondi. Eric Omondi wakati aliongelelea wasanii akasema wasanii wa gospel tumelala. Mimi nilimtusi nikasema anavanga kama mumama kama gay. I'm sorry Eric. Eric you know very well you are my friend. Forgive me. Mimi Eric Omondi nisamee tu nipate kazi. Mimi nimekuwa maombi. First thing nikiambia Mungu anikumbushe ni nini naweza kuwa nimefanya. Ikafanya Mungu asinibariki na sasa nikarealize. <laughs> ni kama nilikutusi Eric. Sasa we Eric tu nisamee ni rafiki yangu. Umekuwa ukipost nyimbo zangu nikitoa kila mwaka una post. Mimi naomba tu Eric Omondi please. Please tu nisamee Eric you are my friend. Please pia naomba msamaha kwa wasichana wa golf kuna siku nilifanya video nikasema wasichana wa golf wale wanauawa sana wengine wanakuanga wanafanya umalaya huko wanaachanga kazi zenye wamepelekwa wanaanza kufanya umalaya ndio sababu wame, wame wa, 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 wanauawa so i'm just sorry i think i i talk a lot and mdomo umeniharibia kazi so naomba tu wale ambao mko hapo unanijua and then you were offended wasichana wa gafu mnisamee kabisa na wote ambao mko gatari mlifeel niliwa offend najua kuna wale wanateseka najua kuna wale wameuawa kwa njia zingine not kwa sababu walikuwa wanafanya umalaya but i'm sorry i was just explaining a video in Eve Mungai's uh, youtube channel i'm very sorry sorry those who are offended na kwa wale wa Kenya waliona nimeweka makalio na mkakasirika mka kwa wale ambao mli, mlianza ku feel like i'm not born again kwa sababu niliweka makalio mimi ninapenda tu kukuwa na shape ni ile tu yani mimi ni mama na si unajua tu sasa ukiwa mama sasa mimi ni msingu mother of course niko na mabeli fat niko tu na you know as in a woman tu mgongo iko na mafuta so i just wanted people to know that at least niko na shape 
Unajua pia yani si kwa ubaya mi hiyo ilikuwa tu comedy, ilikuwa tu kitu ya kufurahisha watu. Hiyo maneno yote haikuwa ya ukweli. Mi hiyo ilikuwa tu cushion, nilikuwa nimeweka hii cushion na mi nilikuwa tunafanya ni wafurahishe na mpate kitu tu ya kuongea mwache kuboweka juu kuna mashida huku Kenya watu tu wanataka kufurahi. Hii ndio cushion nilikuwa naweka na mimi na, 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 naomba tu waki wale in case waliona ni kama nimefanya operation ya matako misi kwa nimefanya ilikuwa tu ni ni kufurahisha wa Kenya hiyo ilikuwa tu ni kipindi so in case uko ulikuwa offended kwa wamama wale ambao mlisikia ni kama nimefuka mipaka wachungaji ambao mlisikia it's like i'm doing wrong i'm sorry i'm born again i'm sorry i've been praying to god nijue ni nini imekuwa ikinikula kama mtu <laughs> nimekuwa tu I me mean, watu naomba tu ni understand i'm just a comedian hata wakati nili hit 2020 mkiuliza Churchill kabisa tulipiga show na ilikuwa so comic and nimekuwa nikiimba nyimbo za comedy it's like comedy tafadhali wale amu ni understand just understand that there is time for everything there is time i sing worship za kanisani kuna wakati naimba nyimbo za kutafuta biashara na imbianga makambuni hata manyimbo tafadhali naona anga watu hata wakati nafanyia majob za kambuni na imbia makambuni nyimbo za kuuza product watu wanakasirika wananiuliza hii ndio gospel watu wangu mimi ni msanii na nikopia kwa biashara hii usani yangu pia nikitingisha kwa lori naona wakristo wengine wakasema wewe ni mkristo aje na unatingisha kwa malori mimi nikikosa kutingisha tutakula aje na mtoto wangu nitasomesha aje jameni mimi nimeishiwa kwa sababu ya watu wanaongea vibaya kuhusu mimi naomba tu kwanza Kenyans munielewe ya kwamba mi am just a good person juzi nimeimba kimeturamba nimeimba kimeturamba mimi nilikuwa naimba cost of living imepanda na kila mtu mimi mimi si kwa na ubaya sasa watu wananitoa hata kwa magrupi za whatsapp juu nimeimba kimeturamba mimi 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 kwanza mimi kimeniniramba ukiangalia hata sina makeup yenye na kuanga na makeup live imekuwa ngumu hata makucha zangu zimengoka mimi hata yani sina do ya kufanya chochote and no because i want because sina job sijui kama mmeona nikiimba mali because mtoto wangu amekuwa mgonjwa anashughulika na mahospitali na kuwa hata mtu akiniita hata nikaimbe mali na kuwa ngumu because my son have been sick i'm sorry if i offended you mimi i'm sorry kuna wale watu wanasema i'm controversial i'm very sorry kwa wakamba ambao wana feeling ni kama nimewaibisha nikikuwa kwa vipindi ambazo ni za uh, marriage kwa vipindi za marriage ambazo nimeshaitwa kwa ma radio station na nikawafunza kuhusu sex kama nilikufunza kuhusu mambo ya ndoa na ukafeel nika nimeenda sana na maybe upendi venye naongeanga i'm very sorry it's just a program that i was called and i was supposed to uh, help people to know what they need to do when they are in in marriage in bedroom matter so mimi si kwat nimevuka mipaka ni kipindi cha radio tafadhali kwa wale ambao mnaona anga nikitingisha mna feel it's like i'm going overboard a gospel artist is not supposed to do that i'm very sorry it's not my wish ni shida because mimi ni mtu naimba nyimbo za kuabudu nimekuwa nikiimba nyimbo za kuabudu ziko youtube people don't watch people don't call me for events so and Siku hizi atuuzi VCD venye tulikuwa tunauza. Sasa hii ni mtandao mimi ni mama nitafanya aje. How will I feed my kid? Siku hizi mziki ayuzi CD aziuzi. YouTube ndio hiyo lazima ujipigie kelele, ujipigie debe. Lazima nitingishe nionekane ili niweze kupata kazi. Tafadhali. Kwa wale amtakangi kunipea event, wengine nasikia ati wanasema oh Justina atakuja na hiyo matako yake kwa event yangu anichukulie bwana. Mimi sikwangi na shughuli ya bwana ya mtu. I've never even dated a married man. I've never even thought of dating a married man. He mimi hata sina nyege mimi mwenyewe mimi sina nyege na marafiki zangu wenye wananijua wanajua mimi sinanga shughuli na marriage tena niliumizwa kwa marriage yangu sana i was so broken so i cannot go again to another marriage mi mwenyewe mimi hata hata mtu akinikatia na mtu kananga wengine hata na wablock na wale wako na testimony wakuja waseme mimi mtu akinipigia aniambia ananitaka mimi na, na blocking hiyo namba because mapenzi alinitendea 
na miss yes imagine please kenyans forgive me give me jobs back give me nipeleni advertisements nipeleni hata hizo kazi ndogo ndogo mimi niko ready kufanya kazi munisamewa kamba wenye wana feeling offended by me i'm just here working na poleni kwa misunderstanding kupoleni i'm very sorry from my heart